Hello you beautiful souls, welcome here. Today we've got a more general reading and I don't usually do uh, monthly prediction readings but this time for some reason I thought why not? Why yes, let's try. Um, and it's the month of September. What does September 2022 have in store for you? Uh, what are the main events of this month? The whole tone of this month? I've got three piles of cards for you to choose from. I will insert the picture of the piles in a second. As always, please take your time, listen to your intuition, and then choose a pile that attracts you the most. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Hello, my beautiful pile number one, or everybody who chose this walnut. Let's see what will be your September like. What is going to be happening? How are you going to be feeling? And we've got the Two of Pentacles, Wedding, Temperance, Journey, the Queen of Swords, and Room. Mm -hmm. You guys, it does feel like a fairly calm month for me fairly peaceful, not much happening, not much drama, uh, not much conflict or chaos. It's very, very peaceful. And I'm actually liking this energy a lot uh, because the month of August that we all been through, astrologically speaking, especially has been uh, heavy, <laughs> has been like life changing for some of people and very um, transformational, I should say, transformational. And this feels like calming down, it's like calm waters, calming down your emotions, coming back to your peace, to your balance, uh, finding your inner center, nothing much is uh, taking you out of your zen. I'm loving it, I'm loving this energy, especially if you've been torn in all directions, uh, if you had a lot on your plate, if you had many responsibilities or maybe emotionally felt a little bit unstable or anxious, September is easy breezy. Easy breezy, wonderful energy, very peaceful, very flowy, especially like inside of you. I don't see much torment or confusion or, you know, those unsettling feelings. It's more so I'm, I'm pulling back all of my energy and I'm centering myself and um, I'm living day by day like taking it slow, enjoying the present moment, not going to the past, not flying to the future and wondering about the future too much. I'm here, I'm peaceful, um, very meditative state I'm getting from this, this pile. Yeah, even if there's something big that you are preparing for, or waiting for or working on, because I feel like it will be important for some of you with this wedding, with this journey, um, yeah, maybe some of you are expecting a reunion of some sort or maybe literally there is a wedding on the horizon for some of you guys and with this card clarifying the two of pentacles there might be a lot of um, many loose ends to tie <laughs> tie up, yeah, things to fix, things to take care of maybe financially, maybe practically and it's like I need to calm down for a second. I need to gather myself, feel peaceful, uh, recuperate a little bit. And with this temperance, I also want to say, if you've been planning um, a journey, a travel of some sort, relocation for some of you, maybe you're preparing documents, maybe um, you, you're waiting for some roads to be opened, like doors to be opened, paths to be opened for you. Um, it's going to happen more smoothly, but you need to be patient. You need to be patient. There's the sense of flow, of flow and not forcing things, not rushing things anymore. I feel like they will, will happen on their own when the time is right. In regards to relationship, in regards to traveling here, in regards to relocating, moving, uh, coming up with big event of some sort for some of you maybe celebration of some sort. Um, it's almost like you're gonna come down, come down and let it come to you rather than 
push it, force it, um, and then feel disappointed and drained. It's more so about conserving your energy, manifesting whatever it is you want to, to bring into your reality, but doing it from a very um, centered, peaceful, harmonious internal state, which is wonderful, wonderful. I don't see much hurry here. Yeah, healing, very healing month for you guys. And not surprising because one of the traditional meanings of a Virgo constellation is healing. Healing arts, healing of the body, healing of the mind. Very healing, very similar energy with these two of pentacles and temperance. But calming down, slowing down, finding your center. Um, it's like riding the waves. Like they're going to take you, um, the waves, waves that um, you are surfing, let's say, they are going to bring you to the shore that you are meant to end up at. You don't have to go against them like they will. You know when you're swimming, um, when you need to go back to the shore if you swim too far, you can just relax and if it's like if the sea is going towards the land, you'll be just pushed that's how this month feels to me <laughs> that's the metaphor of just relaxing on the water and being delivered to the land to the destination where you want to be also you guys we've got this queen of swords energy and the room there's some kind of decision that you might make in september and you will make it with very clear head with very clear rational uh no Second, second guessing, no confusion, no emo em involvement of emotions, extra like high emotional uh, states. No, I know what's right here and I'm going to do it. And it's somehow re related to your possibly home life, your comfort zone, your, your house, your place of living. I want to clarify this energy. Just a second, you guys. What is this Queen of Swords about for Pile 1? <sighs> you guys, it feels like an Indian of a situation that wasn't satisfying you and it's going to be a different thing for everybody here it's an end of a situation that was making you feel mm, meh, uncomfortable uh, maybe possibly even bored or yeah just something that was not giving you joy not giving you happiness again in regards to your home maybe environment maybe maybe some of you would even go out a little bit more enjoy life a little bit more we clarified the queen of swords with the star with the four of cups and death and also we have the devil at the bottom of the deck it almost feels like cutting away some kind of behavior or some kind of attitude or condition that you were stuck in but it was making you feel like you're not living your life. Could be some sort of isolation here with this room clarifying this Queen of Swords. Could be the state of um, mel melancholy and feeling like, oh, I don't want to uh, be too proactive, social, or meet with people. Um, not enough energy, this lethargic state. I feel like at some point you'll just realize enough is enough. I'm tired. I'm tired of being like amoeba. I need to wake up. I need to live. I need to dream. I need to create. And I feel like you've been doing a lot of healing, a lot of resting in order to arrive there. In order to arrive there. Yeah, it feels like a clear decision. I deserve happiness. I deserve joy. Life is short. And it's just very clear laser focused attention on the future and what you want to manifest from now on coming out of your comfort zone i'm sensing very strongly very strongly let's look at the bottom of your deck you guys to see the background story to this <laughs> we've got that knight of 
swords at the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. Clarity, some sort of clarity is coming to you guys. Clarity with the three of cups there as well. Uh, some kind of changes, possibly communication coming your way. That's giving you more clarity and, and understanding what you want to do, how you want to feel in life, um, how you want to spend your time, who you want to spend your time with. Mm -hmm. But let's get, let's see more with your oracle cards. What do we have here? <laughs> Beautiful cards. And again, that queen of swords energy. We've got this card, the thinking woman. Yeah, again, that decision or understanding what is true for you, what is right for you, what is wrong for you. And after a period of stagnation, possibly after a period of standstill, you are arriving at this clear decision of and again, I do feel like somehow there will be more information coming your way. It could be in regards to travel for some of you, in regards to a relationship, a stable commitment here. There will be a decision that you will be able to take because of the information that arrives, because of the clarity that arrives to you in the month of September. You'll be able to reason better, <laughs> um, if that makes sense. Because in the past, somehow you couldn't. You couldn't you just had to wait now they will be able there will be an opportunity to push the situation forward and uh, because you have more input somehow and then we've got this card to be fair again that's the energy of decision of uh, balance so many indications of balance here with the two of pentacles with this temperance if there has been a turbulent um situation period in your life again in regards to something you want to achieve the place you want to move to or a connection that you have in your life i do see more clarity coming more balance more peace possibly reconciliation for some of you um coming into the situation yeah compromise of some sort understanding good conversations clear honest conversations this is so interesting. Then we've got this card, blessings. I love this. I love that you'll have um, things to be happy about in the month of September, even though initially I was feeling like it's a very calm month. But then I feel in the hindsight, when you go back to it and think about it, you'll, you'll remember this month as a very good one that brought you a lot of happiness. But I'm nosy. <laughs> I want to see what kind of blessings are coming your way. In particular, what is this going to be? Pile one, what, what is this blessing card about? What blessings are coming their way in September? <laughs> oh my gosh. And we clarify the blessings with the hermit the Knight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. I'm strongly sensing again communication. You coming out of your hermitude, coming out of your lonely, loneliness, isolation. Maybe you've literally been uh, keeping yourself stuck in the same four walls for quite some time. Not going out, not seeing people, not talking about yourself, expressing yourself to others. Um, feeling lonely and alone most of the time. Maybe not even feeling lonely, but literally not um, showing much signs of life <laughs> to the people outside people usually talk to and associate with but then there's the knight of swords energy which is rapid changes rapid fast communication changes this could be also air travel um, it's a, one of the traditional meanings of the knight of swords very fast very fast energy very proactive it's like clarity that is not how do I explain it it's not questionable with the knight of swords it's just this is this is what it is couldn't be any other way if it's the truth is that somebody is expressing to you is uh, you can be rest assured that this is honest what is being expressed is very honest it's it's true there is no deception or confusion and factual things facts almost that's what i'm getting 
Yeah, and goes really well with this Queen of Swords, which is again clarity with this to be fair card. And then we've got this card Six of Pentacles. Another confirmation of balance or rebalancing the situations where uh, you haven't been receiving much or you've been given more rather, rather than receiving. Imbalance of give and take. Again, receiving the information, receiving the input from others, coming out of your hermitude, coming out of your isolation possibly. Mm -hmm. Changes in regards to information, communication, um, clarity coming your way. Then we've got this card potential, you guys. Beautiful, wonderful card right after blessings. Potential for change, potential for, again, manifesting whatever it is that you want, be it travel, relocation, uh, commitment, uh, growth. Overall, very balanced month that has opportunities for you, doors that are going to be op opened, finally. And then we've got this card, full, full Moon in Virgo, and it's the season that we are in, the Virgo season. It says, you are good enough beautiful could be the message that the main message that you get from this month that you're good enough and you've always been all along especially with this queen of swords this is somebody who definitely knows her worth she is not taking any bullshit she is not wearing rose-colored glasses she is not people pleasing she is not um what am i feeling she's very very clear she's very clear about who she is what she wants and um, she's making decisions from a very weighted weighted very um, sober place and this is where you're getting um, getting to in September and it's a wonderful energy of you um, realizing that you were good enough for whatever it is that you've been wanting all along again <laughs> could be travel could be relocation committed relationship uh, love partnership realizing that there is nothing wrong with you, that um, you're worthy inherently. You deserve what it is that you want. Let's get some more cards, you guys. Well, one. What does the month of September have in store for you? We've got this card, Firm Foundation. Beautiful. This is like the Four of Wands energy in traditional tarot. Stability, uh, support, comfort, happiness, celebration as well. Having this, um, maybe even a shoulder to cry on. Having somebody in your life who you can depend on, you can rely on. Very interesting. Maybe this, there's this message that you are good enough for having a family. This is strong family energy of foundations, of stability, of building something that is going to last. I feel like it's a wonderful message for some of you. And with the combination, to be fair, which is like a justice card in traditional tarot, could be even marriage that many of you are headed towards. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to happen in September, although for some of you it might, since we've got the wedding card here. But it could be that you finally arrive at the state where uh, you feel that everything is leading towards something more deep, long-term, serious, meaningful in your life. And in general, if it's not a relationship, I do feel like you'll feel very strong in this month. You'll feel uh, like you're standing firmly on your two feet, like your home situation is going well. You feel very balanced with this temperance. You feel very stable. Uh, not much is shaking you, you're not feeling anxiety or worry, it's all good, it's all good. And at the bottom we also have this card, passion ignited. Yeah, especially for those of you who are in a partnership, there could be renewal of this chemistry spark, fire between you and your partner. Let's get some more cards, pile one. What does the month of September have in store for you? Okay, <laughs> and this card turned around, it's Purification of Water card. It says Emotional Cleansing Rejuvenation. Beautiful, and with this temperance that in the middle of your spread, exactly the energy of emotions coming 
back into the natural natural flow into peace and um, cleansing the murky heavy negative feelings he might have had in the past again anxiety worry just feeling cleansed feeling peaceful mm -hmm. maybe you'll literally be doing some um, rituals taking a bath with salt uh, using salt scrub or cleansing yourself with palo santo or incense yeah cl cleansing your energy and i feel like this will help you to arrive at this clarity this queen of swords energy mm. at the bottom you guys we've got this card the search and it says feeling lost confused lonely i feel like this is something you are leaving behind the state of feeling again like you're not good enough that you are lonely that you are not getting to where you want to be and it's like no more of that bullshit I'm good enough, I'm gonna be happy, I'm headed towards my beautiful future, towards my destination. I just have to take care of my peace uh, in the present so I can make sure that the future is good, the future is promising. And remember we had this firm foundations card, wonderful energy, stability, celebration, joy. Let's get some more cards you guys. one what does the month of september have in store for you okay i feel like this one wanted to jump out and it's the card retreat yeah again that energy of zen of meditation of coming down finding your balance finding your center coming back to yourself and um come in your racing mind possibly you'll finally able to achieve this in the month of september very very peaceful and harmonious energy i'm getting from your september beautiful and from that place you'll be able to make wonderful decisions in your life you'll have more clarity and peace and there's the sense of flowing flowing and i definitely don't feel like it's going to be a, a like useless month like nothing will be happening no this is not true it's just what's important you'll go through everything all of the events with this unshakable core and stability within yourself this peace and clarity within yourself and you've got many blessings coming your way a lot of potential yeah situations being straightened out with this fairness or to be fair card let's get some more cards pile one what does the month of September have in store for you? Yeah, we've got the sky dream time or creation. Oh, manifestation energy very strongly I'm getting from you guys. Especially with this temperance. It's about alchemy. It's about um, with your energy, with your emotional energy and intention bringing about, bringing towards you the things that you want, the life that you want to live and um, possibly even doing some art or doing manifestation rituals that help you arrive at that beautiful future that you want to be living in. Mm -hmm. Very creative month, very much the month of healing, the month of um, reconnecting with your soul, with your heart and uh, getting to know yourself on many levels as well yeah again connecting to your creativity doing some kind of art inspiring energy is very strong here and being in the moment being in the present not um dealing with your racing mind or anxiety or like hustle have to get everything done it's like no i'm here and i'm just painting this picture or i'm just playing this song and i'm enjoying it and i'm yeah you know okay let's get one card from this deck pile one what does the month of september have in store for you we've got this card message from afar interesting and it says message coming from afar expect positive and refreshing news a great outcome for all 
Beautiful, yeah, especially for those of you who have been waiting for some communication, again, maybe in regards to travel, or if you've been accepted to a certain place overseas, for example, or another, another town, uh, if your visa is working out, or if, like, you, you are separated from somebody, uh, a friend, a family member, a partner, it's very likely that you'll get um, a little bit of a might not be a little bit, just very profound communication. Remember we had the Knight of Swords somewhere, which is about clarity, which is about uh, rapid, fast communication, factual, straight, like, okay, now I see, I see. This is, this is what, what's happening on the other side. Definitely something, some information coming your way that will be able you to be, give you some input, very useful input, I feel. And then we've got this card, Ancient Knowledge, at the bottom of the deck as well. I want to read it for you. There is a flame inside your heart, a light that stems from the dawn of time. Ancient love and ancient knowledge are being rekindled. Close your eyes, connect with and feel the loving wisdom you hold. Let it flow out from your heart and transform your life. Again, very wise energy, very strong, very stoic energy. Um, intelligent is coming from you this month. Maybe you'll be able to make a wonderful decision in this in this month of september that will benefit you for many years later like a very key decision here of, about whatever it is some kind of blessing some kind of potential in your life for a big change and all of the experiences you had so far or all of the knowledge you've gathered so far you'll be able to put it to use while making this decision while communicating to somebody just um yeah something to be proud of about yourself let's get a few tea leaf cards you guys to wrap up your reading pile one what does the month of september have in store for you pile one So the first card we've got here for you is yoke and it says feeling tied down or frustrated yeah this might have been something that you've been feeling so far like there's a situation that is making you feel uncomfortable um worried um with this temperance especially maybe again you've been yearning to be somewhere else to totally shift your life introduce some huge changes again travel or fix the relationship of some sort um yeah reconcile with somebody whatever it is and it's been hard i feel like you were made to wait or maybe you had to endure some obstacles had to deal with some blockages um this feeling tied down i'm feeling very strongly from for you especially with that hermit with this room card maybe you've been tied out to tied down to a certain place um like an apartment or a home and you're not really thriving there for some of you it's like i want to do something here i want to spice up my life almost that's the energy but the universe is like calm down you'll get where you'll be happy you'll get to that place don't worry we'll get you there calm down restore your energies then we've got this card shield and it says you need to defend yourself and you will you guys you will for sure with this queen of swords with this the thinking woman very badass energy somebody who doesn't take any bullshit someone who's very um verbal has a verbal punch for sure the queen of swords like very sober very clear mind nobody's gonna fool me i know my truth i know what i want i know what are my needs my standards beautiful energy then we've got this card skull and it says hidden secrets can harm you <laughs> interesting 
Yeah, especially this is for all of my introverts here. If you again have been keeping to yourself, have been stuck in your little routines, in your little world, maybe there is just a lot on your chest that you need to speak about, that you need to share with other people so you feel lighter, so you feel uh, more uplifted. And again, where did that card go? You are good enough. You are good enough. There's something about vulnerability here, about being able to express your softness and share with the world uh, whatever it is that's burdening you, what's making you feel sad, possibly disappointed. Even talking to a friend would really be helpful. You're very stoic people. I'm getting very stoic energy. It's like, I'm, I'm fine. I'm going to take care of my craft, of my stuff, routines, my work, and just don't... Uh, I don't need any sympathy or anything like that. That would be a good idea. <laughs> then we've got, oh my gosh, we've got this card, carriage, and it says a journey, either physical or mental. Absolutely. Another confirmation of travel here for many of you. You could be traveling, maybe somebody could be traveling to you with this, with this carriage. It gives me the feeling of chariot in tarot. Definitely a possibility of relocation, uh, of a vacation for some of you. Maybe you're going for uh, to enjoy your vacation somewhere on this, in the south, whatever it is. Yeah, the door will be opened for you. Maybe you're not going that far, but it still will be very nice, nice uh, gateway, like weekend trip, for example, road trip. Then we've got this card, Torch, and it says spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Beautiful. I'm, I'm sensing understanding and clarity very strongly here. Awareness. Yeah, I finally see everything so clearly. I finally understand everything. More information coming in. And with this temperance and two of pentacles, you've definitely been maybe, maybe, maybe meditating, maybe um, doing breathing exercises or just being more mindful during your day. I'm here, I'm in my body, how does my body feel? What do I want now? Am I cold? Am I hot? Am I thirsty? And just, it's also a spiritual practice if you think about it. It is. Then we've got this card, <laughs> scales, and it says keep your life in balance. How many images, how many indications of scales we have? For you in this month what else did we have for the scales six of pentacles yeah balance peace compromise equal give and take and with the temperance it's like um, not being not going to extremes extreme happiness extreme sadness it's like i'm at peace i'm in my flow i'm in my zen this does also give me this feeling of um seventh house libra energy partnership, commitment. Then we've got the month of the year and it's July for some reason. Maybe the people who are watching me are, were born in July so we could have concerts or Leo people here. Maybe somebody you are dealing with is a, uh, was born in July. Maybe something that you started in July is bringing uh, bearing fruits in September. Think back to July, what it is that was important for you or maybe certain events that happened in, in July might be repeating or something that you've been wanting to manifest strongly in July, but maybe you've given up and like, oh, probably not happening. It, it might come in September next month. Then we've got this card, Jug, and it, had, it says lighthearted, carefree time. Beautiful, yeah. I, again, I don't sense my, much conflict or uh, turbulence or just pressure, tension. A very light-hearted month for you, very restorative, very peaceful. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, it's getting spicy, you guys. We've got this card, fire, and it says strong emotion, passionate love, or hate. Mm. And it's interesting that it's, this card is here, and we, I love that we also have a contrast of so much balance in this reading. Especially if you're in a relationship that's just like making you go crazy, I cannot live without that person. Why are they not in my life? I'm so passionate for them. I think I'm the best partner for them or they're the best, best partner for me. And you always feel like you're riding those highs, like it's an, um, oh my gosh, a roller coaster of emotions. I feel like this month will help you calm down a little bit with the scales, with this balance energy, with this temperance, with the, to be fair. 
it's like um, I'm not so triggered by this anymore maybe yes I still have love for this person but it's just it's coming from a more mature more sober with this queen of swords uh, more peaceful more clear place inside of me not just my hormones or my bodily parts if you know what I mean or just um, it's coming from my wisdom and peace inside of me and I'm I feel at harmony at peace about this whole situation at this person whether in the past I feel like you could have been like all over the place about this like I cannot sleep I cannot eat I need to fix this and like mm. you know oh my gosh we've got this card wishbone and it says wish is granted yeah I was feeling it very strongly for you guys even though we didn't have much confirmation in, tr in, in the main tarot but there's just this feeling of I finally see clearly and I can finally uh, see where all of it is headed and I feel like I'm getting towards my happiness finally. Definitely something manifesting. Whatever you've been dreaming about could have been from July. Um, yeah, something you've been trying to manifest. Maybe it wasn't moving, like standing at one spot. You couldn't travel. You couldn't relocate. You couldn't marry someone, get married because of, I don't know, money difficulties or work. You've both been busy. I don't know. What are the reasons why people can't marry? You know. If you're, it's your situation, you, you, you know your truth. You know what's going on. Then we've got this card, Ram, and it says, a stubborn, aggressive person. Mm -hmm. There could be some Aries people in the picture, actually. Every time I get this card, I'm getting Aries energy, people who are born at the end of March and first part of April. So you could be Aries, somebody you're dealing with could be Aries. Mm -hmm. Overall, and also we had this card shield, you need to protect yourself, you need to defend yourself. Maybe there will be a moment, like a key moment when somebody is pushing your button a little bit or making you do something against your will. And I I'm not worried for you guys, looking at the Queen of Swords here, I'm not worried for you for a second. I feel like your head in the right place, your, your core is very unshakable in this month and you're like, nah, not doing that, thank you very much. <laughs> very very stoic and um, no people pleasing whatsoever <laughs> this month even if it's somebody you love dearly it's just honestly speaking your truth being very authentic being a bit even blunt <laughs> then we've got this card rooster and it says an arrogant boastful person you should not cross very interesting this could actually be the reason that you get into this Queen of Swords energy. It's like, I'm not taking any more of this. Be it a family member, be it a friend. I'm not doing the favors for you if, not giving, if you're not giving anything back to me. I'm not um, covering up after you. I'm not doing things that go against my integrity for you. It's just, yeah. And again, if this reading resonates with you, I feel like you know exactly who this person is in your life. And you'll be able to stand up for yourself, absolutely. And then we've got this card, Handshake. And it says, a meeting with a stranger could be important. Beautiful. Yeah. We had passion somewhere here f for you guys. Yeah. We had carriage with travel. Passionate love or hate. <laughs> So definitely some new people coming into your life or reconnecting with somebody, making peace with this handshake, uh, reuniting, reconciling. I want to get a final advice for you guys to end your reading. What advice do you need for the month of September, pile one? Oh yeah, we've got this card, just ask. I'm going to show you the imagery on it. So light and beautiful. And it says, There are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team, and all you have to do is ask for our help and guidance. Mm -hmm. And with this temperance, you guys, again, meditating, praying, focusing on your manifestations, um, maybe doing your gratitude in the morning, like uh, speaking your, the things you're grateful for, connecting to your angels, spirit guides, ancestors, th those who passed, and uh, helping them for 
uh, asking them for help, <laughs> asking them for guidance, for support. And also with people in your life. It's like I want to say that you don't have to do all of it alone. You are good enough. You deserve happiness. You deserve support. Your ability, that stable foundations um, that are coming your way. Stable foundation, family, joy. Mm -hmm. So this is all I have for you, Pile 1. I hope this was helpful to you. I hope it gave you the clarity that you needed, the answers that you needed. And I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful pile number two, or everybody who chose this green aventurine. Let's see what does the month of September have in store for you. I didn't expect the reason for pile one was to go on for 40 minutes. Uh, I took my time. I need to be more efficient for you guys. Well, let's see. And we've got the star. Reunion. Death, Old Woman, Seven of Pentacles, and Sweetheart. Wow. You guys, two major arcana cards. It does feel like a very serious um, transformative month. And saying transformative, we've got the death right in the middle of your spread. And don't be scared, you guys. This is the card of transformation. Your life is not going to be the same. Like, just uh, total shift, 180. A big transformation, big change that is happening. And it's like, I'm a new person. Or my life is totally different. Or I'm into different things. Or my lifestyle has changed somehow. I will clarify this energy for sure, but let's start from the beginning. We've got the star and reunion, which is a wonderful energy, so beautiful. It's a wish fulfillment on many levels. Something that you, you were hoping uh, to experience for quite some time, I feel. Something that you've been dreaming about, you've been imagining, maybe visualizing. Could be a reunion with a certain person in your life. I'm fe feeling... For others, it could be just meeting somebody special, <laughs> somebody wonderful, somebody you could potentially have a long-term relationship with. But with this card reunion, I feel like for the majority of you, it's a reconciliation of some kind. Mm -hmm. Let me clarify this, just in case. There is so much hope in this and so much happiness. What is this tie about for pile two? Yeah, mm -hmm. romance is in the air for sure, especially for those of you, if this is a reunion, there might have been a conflict that you went through, the two of you, a conflict, an argument, some kind of battle, um, misunderstanding, going your separate ways and just like, you go in your corner, I go in my corner and we are not talking <laughs> like the kids would do. Uh, yeah, we've got the five of swords clarifying the star, the three of wands and the page of cups. But there will be movement, there will be changes, there will be... Um, oh, sorry, you guys, we've got the Two of Wands. But very similar energy to the Three of Wands. I am sensing distance for some of you, I have to say it. I know that this won't resonate with everybody, but I'm strongly sensing distance. Or something that is separating you. And there is like this potential... Potential of fixing the situation. Could be some obstacles, life circumstances, but for many of you there could be distance, just like in the sky, this two of wands, she's looking into the distance and yearning to be somewhere else or yearning to relocate or, yeah, just be somewhere in another place. And then we've got this page of cups, this beautiful page of cups, which is about forgiveness, which is about uh, kindness, gentleness, um, expressing love, expressing genuine pure emotions an offer of some sort a gift it could be a gift just emotional softness and ease coming into the situation and the star is also the energy of distance in many it's one of this one of the main traditional 
meanings of this card is distance because it's something you can't reach the stars they're so far away but we still dream of them wish to be closer to the stars so yeah very powerful major arcana guys two major arcana cards in your in your spread something big is shifting in this connection in your love life overall in a certain relationship that is going to bring you a lot of happiness and a huge shift in your life like a huge change and it's interesting there's been this death card is being clarified with this old woman i feel like you are changing inside the way you perceive yourself the way you maybe doubt yourself the way you feel exhausted the way you feel like you are weary and tired of the way life has been so far it's like it's some parts of you that are not, lo not no longer serving you being cut away because of this this beautiful changes but let's see let's see more what is this death about for pile two in the month of september you guys look at this we've got the three of swords it's the pain that you've been feeling again the sadness the disappointment this kind of i'm tired of the pain i'm tired of being heartbroken i have no more hope then we've got the three of cups and the queen of cup uh, queen of cups not the queen of cups the king of cups what's happening with my english today the king of cups yeah it's like totally uh, um, night and day sky and earth energy from the three of swords to the three of cups which is happiness joy celebration and king of cups which is pure love deep emotional connection emotional intelligence um heart to heart relating with somebody here mm, somebody coming into your li life you guys to love on you a little bit to cherish you to to court you possibly and to ask you out on a date this combination three of cups and this king of cups beautiful such a contrast to the three of swords where she is lonely sitting there um crying in the rain just yeah not the best state and again i do feel like some kind of old story some kind of old perception of yourself of what's possible for you or not possible for you is dying out is leaving your life total change final cut um yeah in the story no longer i'm no longer suffering i'm no longer um, dealing with this confusion sadness disappointment an ending of a heavy situation a difficult situation especially if you've been feeling lethargic didn't have much energy didn't want to socialize didn't feel like you were ready for love even or yeah just this feeling mm, my good days are gone <laughs> are over <laughs> And there's finally, nah, your life is going to change completely. Here you go. There's this love, there's this reconnection, there's, there are these beautiful dates. Somebody who adores you, who loves you so deeply. Mm -hmm. I'm loving it for you guys. And then we've got the Seven of Pentacles and Sweetheart. It's building. It's building something together with somebody or maybe... Um, it's, it feels like pleasant work pleasant devotion and tending to the garden of this connection of this love i do feel like you'll re either reunite or meet somebody with whom you'll be able to invest into the future and then enjoy uh, the fruits of your labor or how you've been tending to this relationship how devoted you've been how well you've been taking care of it the seven of pentacles is, is diligence it's patience it's care it's um purposeful actions in order to to build to build to grow to nourish and it's <laughs> being clarified with sweetheart it's just it does feel so good i have really good feelings about this but i also want to clarify i'm being nosy today i know you guys but yeah let's see what is the seven of pentacles about for pile two
Oh wow. Oh wow. And we've got, you guys, the Ace of Wands, the Four of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. There is some kind of new, interesting, exciting, passionate beginning. I know it's going to be difficult to see all of the cards because we have four, but we start with the Ace of Wands. Something, some kind of new initiation, and it's interesting that it starts right after this Death card. An ending of sadness, disappointment, and then we have a new, totally new fresh chapter here which is very exciting i want to participate in this i want to do this you might you might have to you might have to be patient uh with it you have to maybe come back to your center be mindful be uh, peaceful about it even though you're you're very excited you are very passionate about someone or some kind of situation here but i feel like you'll be able to reserve yourself somehow and be wise in the situation and be maybe even conservative somehow and not yeah there is this piece of your mind that i'm sensing peace of your mind and patience with the seven of pentacles especially then we've got this card queen of cups beautiful emotional um state the depth of your emotions love care um softness gentleness and remember we had the queen the king of cups clarifying this death that's a Power couple, that's a match. King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. With a sweetheart. Yeah, you'll be able to fall back into your emotions, feel nourished, feel loved, feel um, accepted, feel romanced, possibly. And then we've got this card, Eight of Pentacles. Again, work that I was feeling, sensing diligence, working on something that is making you feel happy, emotionally fulfilled, joyful, passionate. Um, yeah, mastering the skills of whatever it is. For some of you, it could literally be being in love with your work, enjoying what, what it is that you're doing. For others, with a sweetheart, I do feel like it's building a relationship with somebody, building commitment, working on yourself, working on a relationship to make sure that in the future you can bear really good fruits of your labor, of your hard work here. Let's look at your oracle cards, you guys, to see the background story. We've got the Seven of Cups. There's this feeling of illusion, of confusion, of mist, of the fog. What do I want? Where am I headed? What's happening? I'm totally confused about the situation. Am I fooling myself? Is it, is it real or not? Especially when it comes to relationships or whether it's somebody is into you, whether they love you or not, whether you mean anything to them. I feel like you've been through some confusion, or you've been through some worry and this feeling I'm like I'm lost at sea about all of it. I have no idea what's happening. Let's look at your oracle cards, you guys. <laughs> oh wow, oh wow, I love this. The first card we've got here is purification, beautiful. This is like the sun, clarity, happiness. Um, de definitely this change in your life that's coming about and clearing away all of the pain, all of the tears that you've shed and like there's a reason to be happy here, look, it's, it's already here, you can enjoy it, purifying all of the sadness and confusion with the seven of cups, yeah, some kind of clarity and revelation is coming your way, I feel you guys. And then we've got this card Yin, which is feminine energy, the energy of receiving, the energy of receiving love, receiving care. Um, maybe somebody here will be taking care of children or maybe getting pregnant with the seven of pentacles with sweetheart could be possible. But just very soft, very flowy, very intuitive, being totally connected to your heart, totally connected to your emotions. Um, Mm, I'm feeling so good about your reading. It's so promising and I'm sensing a lot of love. Even though we don't have many cups in the main spread, although we have reunion and sweetheart, it's just I'm feeling a lot of love and pure love, not the chaotic roller coasters, butterfly in the stomach and uh, mind games kind of love. You know, just being loved, being loved and giving love simple things simple love and we had king of pen king of cups and queen of cups mm. some kind of love story is developing here for sure and looking at the next cards oh, let's just do this one love 
love. I basically all I just said a second ago. Love is on the cards for you, you guys. Wonderful, flowy, harmonious month in regards to your love life. September, beautiful. Then we've got this card, Door to Value. Mm -hmm. It's like the Ace of Pentacles, a new promising start, improvement in your money possibly, maybe some kind of chance to increase your income, uh, a new stream of income. Maybe your job is going so well that you see improvements, your business growing, you have more clients, you, you are selling more of whatever it is you're doing, uh, you're getting promoted. Just wonderful opportunities and door to value. I feel like your lifestyle might improve as well. You'll finally be able to see your board, value your time, value your effort, your talent, your knowledge. New promising start. Prosperity, abundance. Then we've got this card, third quarter moon, and it says adjustments are required. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm sensing this very strongly with the seven of pentacles. You'll be working on something, and I wouldn't be surprised that you'll be doing it with somebody else. Uh, tending to something, fixing something. Be it a tangible thing like a garden, like a home, or something like a connection, a relationship mending it, uh, building something together, working on a project together possibly. Something needs to be fixed and polished almost. That's the feeling I'm getting here. Uh, re restoring the trust between the two of you or getting to know each other and clearing away the obstacles that might be in, in your way here. And with this death in the middle of your spread, I do feel like your lifestyle will change drastically s uh, the direction of your life. Whatever you thought your life would be like, it's going to be completely opposite and you'll have to adjust. You'll have to adjust to make some changes, make some tweaks here and there in order to adapt to this new life of yours. But overall, overall I feel really good about it. I don't have that oh, crisis moment feeling. Mm -mm. Let's get some more cards, pile two. What does the month of September have in store for you? We've got this card, victory and success. Beautiful. And I also feel like a manifestation of your dream of some sort, achieving some kind of goal, destination that you wanted to arrive at and being so proud of yourself. I got there. I made it or we made it if there's somebody else in the picture. Yes. Yeah. So much pride and so much joy. And also we have this card, memory of love at the bottom of the deck. Could be related to a past relationship, past connection. Um, nostalgic energy I'm getting very strongly. Overcoming difficulties, especially in, in your love life for many of you and in general in your life. Wonderful month. Let's get some more cards. Pile two. What does the month of September have in store for you? just said wonderful month we've got this card effortless <laughs> waterfall emotions i feel like will be flowing in all directions but not in a crazy chaotic way just pouring your heart to somebody extending your love to somebody getting the same amount of energy and devotion back um yeah so much flow so much love with this love card with this yin card feminine energy emotional energy and this waterfall it's like and we've got the waterfall in the star card well, a little waterfall. But anyway, it feels like a release, feels like cleanse, feels very emotionally healthy this month. Like therapeutic, uh, how do I even explain it? It's like a conversation you would have with somebody when you have a really deep, like you're on the same way. If you don't, you finish each, other, each other's sentences, you speak the same language and you discuss the issue fully and you don't have any much else to say and you feel so healed. And it's like you leave that room or leave that conversation feeling like you just had the catharsis, like your life changed completely. You healed a very deep issue you've been carrying inside of you. This is what this month feels for me like. And again, if it includes reconciliation of some sort, it explains a lot why you would be feeling this way or meeting an important person in your life. Let's get some more cards. Pile two. 
what does the month of September have in store for you? We've got this card, Divine Guidance, beautiful, yeah. I feel like you will be supported on your way, you will be shown the way, you will be protected and there's a sense of flow, effortless again, moving through life effortlessly in September, not forcing anything, not struggling, not being worried, like everything goes my way, wonderful energy, spiritually, intuitively being guided, receiving more rather than pushing or trying to force situations, force people to give you what it is that you want with the seeing card. Very feminine energy and feminine energy is about receiving rather than like breaking the wall with your head, with your thorns, thorns, horns, oh my gosh. And if you're a man watching this, you can also embody feminine energy. It's not just for, uh, it's particular to women. Men can be in their feminine energy, for example, when they create, when they do art and men can be fantastic artists when they cook food when they create music when they do intuitive work body work well depends like yoga i imagine like as a feminine body work but then there's fitness and other athletes well anyway <laughs> let's move on pile two what does the month of september have in store for you okay and we have this card achievement and it says keep focused on your dream beautiful lotus flower in it achieving your dream getting to a destination and remember we had this card victory and success also yeah definitely a wonderful month wonderful month you look back at it and feel like your life changed completely you achieved something that you've been striving towards focusing and focusing on for so long be it your career or your relationship your love life beautiful Let's get some more cards. Pile two. What does the month of September have in store for you? We've got this card, Silver Vibrations. And it says, your vibration is being raised to a higher level. You may be feeling that you are in this world, but somehow not of this world. This is the magic of creation at work in your life. As silver sta starlight enters your aura, your energy field is strengthened, giving you a clearer connection to spirit and revealing the greater purpose of your life. Yeah, rising your vibration, cutting away the parts of yourself that have been dragging you down, like old patterns, triggers, wounds, traumas, feeling old and tired and lethargic, all of it has been um, cleared away from your life, cleansed. And you're feeling rejuvenated, hopeful, excited, ready to put in the effort, ready to love, ready to be loved, to create, like effortless, effortless, because of how much you raised your vibration, how much you worked on yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and then we've had this card intention at the bottom of the deck. It says, do not, do not lose sight of your original intention. Check inside your heart to see if the path you are traveling fits in with your original hopes and aspirations. If not, take action, take control and steer your life back on course. Opening your reading with a star, it's all about intention, it's all about hope, the final dream, the final picture that you want to arrive at. I feel like you, you'll have to make a few changes, adjustments and eventually you'll see that you are on the right path. Yeah, and there is a very strong intention in your heart. It's bound to bring you the manifestation that you want. Did I use all of the cards that I wanted to? Yeah, I think so. Pile two, let's get some tea leaf cards. What does the month of September have in store for you? Pile two.
got many. I just couldn't stop myself, you guys. The first card we've got here is Dog Far Away. And it says, a distant friend is thinking of you. Mm, remember the distance I was talking about in the beginning of your reading? Somebody who is far away has, I feel like, a soft spot in their heart for you. They care about you. Possibly they wish they would, could reunite with you as well. Even, even if it's like a family member, a friend, uh, possibly a specific... Um, like someone special, like a loved one. Mm -hmm. Then we have this card, Parrot, and it says someone will gossip about all your secrets. And uh, some messages in this deck are quite intense. Don't worry, you guys. All your secrets. Yeah. Maybe it's important for you uh, this month and coming into this month to keep things to yourself to not speak too much about what it is that you want to achieve or what's going on in your love life. Uh, you know, sometimes we like to gossip with girlfriends or guys can talk amongst themselves and like, you know what's going on, I met this girl, or things are going well with so-and-so, and these are my plans, and this is what I want. Maybe it's better to keep things to yourself so that you don't spread out the energy out there and focus totally on diligent work and building this happiness, this future. Uh, for you and maybe for your connection with somebody here Then we've got this card bread and it says period of prosperity and abundance Yeah, for sure with the seven of, seven of pentacles the eight of pentacles card we had here uh, The door to value definitely money coming in for you abundance uh, Maybe again, you're gonna get paid more. Why can I not pick up this card? You're gonna get paid more you're gonna get some compensation reward for your job uh, if you wanted to like raise the price of your services, maybe it's a good month for that. Like, because you've mastered the the skill of what it is that you're doing, it's it's a good time to ask for more. I feel for you guys. And also, we have this card effortless. I feel like whatever you do, whatever you decide to start to initiate in the month of September, easy breezy, it's gonna be easy. Just receiving the goodness of the universe of what it has to offer you. Then we've got this card Carrot, and it says opportunity or windfall, very similar energy, very similar. Reaping the rewards of your labor, tending to your garden, cultivating those beautiful flowers, fruits, trees. Uh, then we've got this card Cobweb, and it says protected from negative forces beyond your control. If this is something you've been worried about, whether the situation is safe, whether I am safe, whether um, my money is safe, my business, whatever it is, my connection with somebody, definitely there is a protection here for you. You are being taken care of. Then we have this card Stork, and it says news of a birth or a new business opportunity. Yeah, you guys take it as it resonates. Maybe some of you will get will be getting pregnant here with this love card, with a sweetheart, seven of pentacles. Uh, if not, there might be a new project, something to tend to, some kind of work, new exciting a creation of yours, endeavor. Overall, good, good energy with this. Then we've got this card Tankard, and it says celebration, fun, enjoyment. Yeah, so there will be good times as well, fun times, joy, love. Sensing that very strongly. Then we have this card Tree, and it says affairs with your family. Mm -hmm. Maybe getting together with your family, with your loved ones. Um, yeah, clearing away the confusion, misunderstandings, having a family. With this card falling together with a celebration, fun and enjoyment and affairs with your family could be celebrating a family holiday of some sort, anniversary, birthday, something like that, birth of a child with a stork. Then we've got this card wealth. How many how many indications of money and your coin improving we have here? Beautiful. Then we have this card V, and it says victory in some endeavor. Already had a victory card here with this victory and success. So whatever you are working towards, trying to achieve, you'll get there. Don't doubt yourself. Don't give up now. You are getting there. You'll be uh, victorious. Remember also we had this card achievement. Yeah. Then we have this card ink pot and it says problems to be resolved don't we all have them there are always little things we need to work on here and there 
um, and as well with the card adjustments are required. I feel like small little things to fix, uh, almost like while you have time, while you're at it, or while to make sure that the future is more bright. Like we need to do some adjustments and then we are free from some kind of burden, struggle. Then we have this card clouds and it says temporary problems. Yeah, if you're dealing with some um, obstacles, blockages on your path, they're not gonna last. Things will be fixed. You'll resolve the difficult issue, the situation that you are struggling with in whatever area of life they are. Mm, look at this, we've got this card not and it says unsuccessful plans. Interesting. It could have been that they have been unsuccessful so far. Whatever you've been trying to achieve, maybe it's been taking a long time. Maybe people haven't been too cooperative. Um, maybe there wasn't enough money. Maybe something wasn't taken off. Maybe some of you weren't been able to get pregnant. Just, yeah. And problems to be resolved with the sink pot. But I do see eventually you being on top. You achieving that dream of yours. This achievement. Arriving at your victory. And then you guys, we have this card throne and it says positions of authority. Beautiful. Maybe again, a raise, promotion that somebody gets here. You become the boss of the bosses. Uh, change in authority could also be like a change of status, getting married, um, receiving some kind of important documents, privileges. Uh, yeah, people seeing, uh, looking up to you, respecting you. This authority card. And we've got this card bow, and it says plenty of material things. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. With the wealth card, with carrot, opportunity, with bread, period of property, of what? Prosperity and abundance, I'm sorry. Beautiful energy. Let's get a final advice for you guys. Pile two. Advice for you in regards to the month of September 2022. And we've got this card, Ground Yourself. I'm going to show you the imagery on it. And it says, Being distracted, unfocused, tired, irritated and impatient are all signs that you are ungrounded. Now is the time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect with the divine source. Mm -hmm. and this card, Purification, very similar energy, grounding your emotions. Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, it's tending to the garden. Um, focusing literally very earthly energy maybe grounding like putting your foot feet on the ground uh, barefoot uh, connecting to nature mm -hmm. but overall a wonderful month wonderful month full of love full of kindness support uh, a victory of some sort a success achievement for you so this is all i have for you pal too i hope this reading was helpful to you i hope it gave you the clarity that you needed the answers that you needed and I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. Hello my beautiful pile number three or everybody who chose this clear quartz stone. Let's see what does the month of September have in store for you. I'm sorry for Pichinka sneezing but yeah we've got the four of swords Priest, Three of Pentacles, Prison, Two of Swords, and Messenger. Hmm. Interesting, you guys. To me, this month feels like a combination between trying to carve out some time to be on your own to heal to recuperate to rest to come back to your center but also there is this yearning for communication or trying to figure things out with other people maybe with friends maybe with your family members siblings with the three of, three of pentacles trying to work out or work with others but at the same time wanting your alone time wanting your downtime wanting to rest to heal, to do maybe your spiritual practices with this Four of Swords and this 
priest. I feel like this is something you've been doing in the past as well. Uh, trying to come back to yourself, trying to sleep possibly more, heal your heart. Um, take care of yourself, take care of yourself, nourish yourself. Maybe meditating, reading a bit more. But there are people around you. I'm sensing people around you. Could be friends, could be the people you work with, colleagues, could be siblings, could be your friend circle again. There are some concerns that you have. Maybe they take a lot of your time. Maybe you feel like you don't relate to them. There's just this feeling of being um, worried and confused and anxious about uh, communication with others, about interacting with others. Let me clarify this. What is this Three of Pentacles about for Pile 3? this feeling I keep loving on everybody but I'm not getting much in return maybe this is like um, you you've got very strong motherly nature and you give a lot in relationships you've got a big pure heart and you just you don't like doing things um, halfway or with minimal effort if you go out with somebody you're gonna listen to their pain you're gonna empathize empathize you're gonna um, be compassionate, you're gonna nourish them, you're gonna give them advice. But then there is this... I'm so sorry you guys, Pachinka is playing and she's getting loud. <coughs> and we clarified the Three of Pentacles. You guys, I'm so sorry, Pachinka was naughty, but let's continue. We clarified the Three of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. Again, that feeling of being misunderstood, maybe surrounded by people that you don't speak the same language with. Uh, somehow they are not aligning with your values, aligning, not seeing the purity of your heart, not understanding where you're coming from. And yes, you just want to collaborate, you just want to be seen, you just want to do things with others, maybe be surrounded by good people. And there is this disappointment inside of you that you're going to be dealing with. You might already be dealing with, be that, for many of you. Just the sense of, I, I struggle to fit in, I struggle to feel uh, seen, understood, supported. Especially with this Three of Swords and this Five of Pentacles, it's like being left out in the cold or being taken for granted or given much more than you are, you are receiving. Again, could be situation at work, could be your family members or could be friends, the Three of Pentacles. And you are just, you're just a very pure, kind soul who, who wants to love people, who wants to be of service. Like there is not much ego about it, there is not much um, hidden agenda, these are my motives, I'm gonna get what I want and step over people. You're very soft, you're very soft. But yeah, dealing with people who are not aligning with you and uh, your vision, how you see friendships, how you see good relationships, good connections. Maybe you'll get some insights about the people that surround you. Now we've got this Two of Swords and Messenger. There's some communication coming your way that you're not expecting, you guys. Uh, very likely online or like an email, possibly a letter, phone call for some of you, but you're not expecting it, you're not seeing, uh, anticipating it. Like you're totally in the dark about this coming towards you. Let me see. What is this Two of Swords about for Pile 3? Yeah, interesting. We clarified the Two of Swords with the Four of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. There has been a period of silence. Again, that Four of Swords coming back here. Um, 
in whatever situation that we are looking at. I'm sorry, you guys, Pichinka has just jumped on the other side of the table. I feel like there's been a lot of quiet period in your life. Maybe you haven't been communicating with people at all. Maybe you've been tending to your things, again, recuperating. But there's something beautiful coming your way, some kind of offer or some kind of something related to money, maybe a project. Because we've got the Four of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful. This feeling of contentment, joy, self-sufficiency, independence, abundance, stability. Yeah, I feel like for some of you it's connected to your work, to your finances, to your career. Something that will make you happy, joyful, especially after like a quiet uh, stalemate period. For others, I do feel like it also could be related to um, a relationship here with this Queen of Pentacles. Something that will raise your self-esteem, your sense of value. Um, yeah, You'll feel beautiful, you'll feel happy, you'll, f you'll feel proud of yourself when this comes about. Interesting. And again, you're not expecting it. It's like a beautiful, sweet thing that comes your way. Some information that warms your heart a little bit. Maybe the information that you win something or you're about to receive something with the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. I, I wanted to look at the bottom of your deck to see the background story. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles herself here. Yeah, definitely building your happiness, building your um, empire, building your beautiful, good lifestyle, enjoying who you are, knowing your value. Again, I do see your finances improving you are feeling stable, you are feeling um, like you have this foundation. Like the boss boss energy I'm getting for some reason. Somebody who is in charge of their life, who is very self-sufficient, very abundant, prosperous, and uh, who respects themselves, finally. Let's look at your oracle cards, you guys. Okay, okay. We've got some love situation in the oracle cards and story a little bit. So the first card we've got here is Unfinished Symphony. Again, there is some kind of issue that you're trying to heal and it's been breaking your heart or it already broke your heart and it feels like we are not done here. It could have been relationship, could be um, friendships. It's just still kind of poking on you. It's poking on you and maybe you, um, you try to move on but it's hard. Maybe you try to socialize with somebody but people don't get you maybe as a certain person used to you guys i'm so sorry for the drilling but i can't do anything they just start whenever they want and that is that someday hopefully i'll be living in the prairie in the mountains or somewhere in nature where there are no neighbors <laughs> would be a dream then we've got this card gateway and for me, this is a wonderful energy of an opportunity, a door being opened for you. Could be involving travel or just something coming in that you've been expecting for some time, but it wasn't happening. This is the energy of manifestation of whatever effort you put in intentionally, emotional energy that you are giving towards something, visualizing it. It's going to happen faster from now on. It's like a gateway, a window of opportunity, I should say. That's the, the traditional meaning of this card in the book. Like miracles and blessings coming your way with this gateway. And the next card, you guys, right after it, is a man holding a heart. That, that is why I was saying that the love is in the air. Uh, some loving person is entering your life or re-entering. Because we had this unfinished symphony here. It could be reconciliation for many of you. Communication could, is possibly coming from them here. Something very reassuring, something very warm, loving. It's like the King of Cups energy. Somebody emotionally mature, emotionally intelligent, supportive, soft, compassionate. And uh, you've got their heart. Like they, they're willing to give you their heart. Definitely a lot of devotion and love. Then we've got this card, Life Purpose. Beautiful. Again, it indicates for me that this month will be very drastic, it will change a lot for you in many ways. With this gateway, something uh, will open up for you, something will work out for you, and you'll be almost like, you know, how did that happen? 
with this life purpose. It's like alignment to where you have to be, to where you're supposed to be, who you're supposed to be with. Not forcing anything anymore, not trying to earn somebody's love, not trying to fit in into <coughs> a certain environment, friendship circles. Trying to make it work with siblings or family members that are just ganging up on you, for example. Mm, yeah, why am I feeling this? For some reason, just something... I, I don't like this environment. But there is love. There is somebody who loves you very much, whether you know about them or not. You'll feel their love in September. And again, this life purpose, the realigning to what you're supposed to be doing, who you're supposed to be with. And then we've got this card, Cardinal Moon. And it says, be bold and make the first move. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. If the opportunity knocks with this gateway, if the communication comes through, do not pull back. Do not try to be, I don't know, demanding or do not try to... Um, how do I explain what I'm feeling? I feel like it will be important for you not to test the waters, but go all in. Trust the situation, trust this new being, and trust this person that comes in or re-enters and act on it, act on it. Because it's like a window of opportunity to change your life in, in, in big ways and be really happy eventually. Yeah, beautiful. Let's get some more cards, you guys. Pile 3. What does the month of September have in store for you? Pile 3. We've got this card, Passion Ignited. Again, romance is in the air, new, fiery, exciting beginning. Uh, yeah, I do sense like a strong connection or just a new inspiring chapter for you somehow connected to love i do feel romance you guys i, I cannot push push back this feeling uh, shrug it off feeling alive again feeling excited again after the spirit of recuperation cocooning stagnation with this four of swords i'm happy i'm i'm happy to take this um first step to be bold proactive to express myself it's like you've been bottling all of it up inside of you like connecting with all of those people who don't get you and finally i feel like there will be somebody a certain person who is on the same page as you are who speaks the same language as you and it's like yes let's do it let's do it let's get some more cards pile three what does the month of september have in store for you We've got this card, Stone People or Vigilance, you guys. Mm -hmm. Again, that same energy to watch out or be more discerning about the people around you and whether they are your people. It doesn't necessarily mean that they are evil people. It's just your time is precious. Life is short. And spending it with people who, like, you don't get the value. You don't see the value of this connection of spending time with them and you get more benefits from being alone for example you do more you, you can accomplish more you feel more fulfilled and healed after being on your own doing your practices um spirituality or whatnot and spending time with certain people maybe partying or going out to bars and drinking or discussing and gossiping about others is just not worth your time not worth your energy yeah this card vigilance just make sure you're surrounded by people who who are on the same wavelength vibration as you are who want the same things as you do i feel like it's a big lesson in september for many of you pile two pile three what does september have in store for you and we've got this card guardian but whatever you guys go through, it's important for you to know that you are protected, you are guided, and uh, not to worry. Even if you are like being ganged up on, or people are picking on you, or you have a toxic environment at your work, like your colleagues are toxic and negative all the time, you are protected. It's not touching your energy, it's not getting to you. There is like a shield around you. You are fine, you are aligned with your life purpose, there is love coming in or it's already in your life for some of you. Do not worry about your safety especially. 
What else? Pile three. What does the month of September have in store for you? Okay. These two cards fell down, but they are so perfectly fitting. The first card we have is Ocean of Eternal Love. Healing, creativity, fertility. Again, a lot of love coming in for you. Just a very strong energy, even though the main tarot cards are not showing much romance. But it's like brewing behind the scenes. It's just undertone of your September. Is, there is love. There is a potential for love, for loving relationship, reconnecting or meeting somebody important. And we also have this card, Sacred Heart. And it's passion, love, spiritual community. Spiritual communion, I'm sorry. Yeah, definitely passion as we had in this deck, passion ignited, beautiful love, pure love, not just something on a whim, like hook up with this queen of, um, queen, king of cups or man holding a heart. It's something profound, it's something deep, nourishing. Did I pull the card from, yeah, I did. Let's get one from this deck, pile three. What does the month of September have in store for you? And we, ha we have this card message from afar. We already talked about it, oh my gosh. It says message coming from afar. Expect positive and refreshing news. A great outcome for all. Remember that unexpected information, unexpected text, letter, email, phone call with the two of swords and letter, something that you're not expecting coming your way that will, I feel like, make you really happy, relieved, just very content about your life and where you are. Maybe you're wishing to reconcile with somebody who you're separated from, yeah, or to hear from them. Then at the bottom we have this card, positive outcome. I love this. It says, there is hope. Don't give up now. Have faith. Trust. The forces of love are at work behind the scenes. Expect a joyous and positive outcome. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's, let's get some tea leaf cards, you guys. Pile three. What does the month of September have in store for you? first card we've got here for you guys is shark and it says take care or there will be a loss of material wealth yeah very interesting to be honest again I do feel like you might be spending a lot of your time on things on, or people that is a little bit not needed or you could be doing something else instead you could be taking care of your your stuff your craft your job your business whatever it is it's just you are getting distracted or maybe taking care of the things that are not yours like doing responsibilities or duties that uh, you're not supposed to be doing or doing favors for friends that they could do themselves and your time is also precious then we've got this card chain and it says chain of events that will affect your life i'm sensing this very strongly with this life purpose with um what else did we had passion ignited some positive outcome new beginning things will fall, fall fall into place beautifully for you like bam 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 and here i am being loved being happy um, getting clarity information then we've got this card well and it says family wishes come true beautiful if your family have been like you had a birthday for example and you people around you have been telling you i wish you whatever i don't know a new job or for you to get married or for you to have a child or something like that it's like an indication that this is the month that it might come true 
Then we've got this card Lily, and it says spiritual love. You guys, yeah, this King of Cups. Love is coming your way. Pure love, deep love. Then we have this card Wrath. I think that's how you pronounce it. It says sorrow over a loss. Yeah, it could be a loss of a friend or friendship or some kind of circle here, friendship circle, or a person from the past. Just, yeah, you might have been, again, healing with that Four of Swords, overcoming some pain inside of you. That's what you've been doing because you lost something important for you, obviously. Then we've got this card, Turkey, and it says someone is behaving stupidly. <laughs> this could be the energy around you, people you're dealing with, and it's like, I cannot take it anymore. Like, we, are, we cannot communicate, we cannot get on the same page because that person just is not willing to change or is playing games with me or just wasting my time. Could be having family, be family members. Whoever it is for you, you know what I'm talking about, if this resonates with you. Then we've got this card, woman, and it says dealings or relationship with a woman. Some feminine figure could be very important for you this month, you guys, whether you're a man or a woman. Then we've got this card, Crib. I apologize for Pachinka whining. But she does that by the third pile. She just wants my attention and she's talking to me right now. We've got this card, Crib. And it says, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Again, some of you might get pregnant even, uh, especially with family wishes here. Or maybe if it's not pregnancy and it's impossible for you, maybe starting a new endeavor, new passionate project. Just something that's like your baby. I want to cherish this. I want to nurture this. I want to grow this. Beautiful. Then we have this card, Elephant. And it says, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. Some of you might be traveling or there will be news of travel. An opportunity to relocate, possibly. Maybe somebody will be traveling to you. So, yeah. And this is a long journey, it could be even overseas, like another continent, not just another neighboring town. Then we have this card, Grasshopper, and it says, situations in the balance that require careful handling. Again, I do feel like it's related to people around you, maybe family ties, maybe colleagues, maybe friends that are like, friend I miss a little, or just... Ah, <sighs> you guys, I'm sorry. Chomaya. Chomaya. So yeah, careful, balanced, trying to stay uh, at peace, trying to be peaceful, harmonious at all times, do not let other people's problems get to you or the way they try to affect you. Like you are your own person. Um, hold, hold your standards and boundaries uh, firmly as well. You guys, then we've got this card, marriage, and it's astral house card, so it would be the seventh house. Some of you might get proposed to or find the person eventually that you will marry or reunite with somebody who is meant to be a future spouse, future wife or a husband. Beautiful, beautiful. And we have this card, Chair Field. Someone new is entering your life. Again, I, I do feel like that for somebody, someone, for some of you it's somebody re-entering and for others it's totally new person. But beautiful energy of new love or or a, ref a fresh start in love for you and all of it will lead to something stable something long term and then we've got this card seahorse and it says family matters again a strong energy of family family relationships um, siblings people around you maybe you will be starting your family with a scribe and birth and marriage so beautiful Let's get a final advice for you guys until Pichinka drives me mad. Pile 3. An advice for you for the month of September 2022. Look at this, look at this. This card fell out. And and you guys, you got this card, hello from heaven. It says, your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show how much they love you, to prove they're with you at this time. She just needs a little bit of love. Mm. It 
totally normal situation you guys for this channel uh, you probably know already Pachinka coming in and just smoothing me hello from heaven and remember we had this card uh, spiritual guidance and support again that energy of protection you've been protected and guided towards where you you're supposed to be and your ancestors your um, angels your on the other side you have been really helped you're seeing symbols possibly right now your intuition is telling you that something beautiful is coming um, repeating numbers just strange synchronicities I feel like that could be uh, something you're going through right now so yeah this is all I have for you pile 3 I hope this reading was helpful to you I hope it gave you the clarity that you needed the answers that you needed and me and Pichinka wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others and we will see in my next video bye bye